Is full body tracking on the quest possible? Yes. Is full body tracking on the quest practical? No. It's a fairly complicated setup. It's not cost effective. It doesn't work natively with the headset, but you can do it. And we're gonna show you everything you need today. And I have help from my friends over at Rebuff Reality. Now Rebuff was kind enough to send me not only the track straps that I needed, but also the VR power battery and their new VR ears. And I was kind enough to procrastinate on making this video for the past four months. Now Rebuff is technically not even paying me to promote their products. I specifically contacted them because I needed batteries to extend the life of both the headset and the trackers. Because of how long this setup takes, I need the longer battery life so that it actually makes it worth it. If I take the time to get everything set up and then my tracker batteries die or the headset dies, then I have to go charge everything and then recalibrate everything all over again. Not only that, the Quest when streaming over Wi-Fi using virtual desktop does drain the battery faster, especially if you boost the clock rates or are just doing anything pretty intensive. With the VR Power 2, it makes it worth it to do this setup because I know that even though it takes a long time and I'm going to be draining the battery faster, I will have all the extra time I need with the extra battery pack for not only the headset, but the trackers and the headphones as well. And even though this looks kind of goofy, the counterweight that this battery pack provides actually makes it more comfortable for me personally than the Elite strap with the battery. If you're interested in looking at their products, which they have these and also a lot more VR accessories, you can go to their website in the link in the description, or you can browse in VR, try stuff on, see how it looks, and save an additional 20% off their entire store if you shop in VR. So what I want to do is pretty simple. I would just want to play Beat Saber without having a cable. That is the end goal. When you're playing on Index, you have a cable, and if you're like me, you don't have a pulley system, which means that the cable is mainly routed by your feet. You kick it around, you make sure it's in the right spot using your feet. Now when you have Vive trackers on your feet, it gets tangled inside of the tracker and you die. And this can be solved by dropping the money on a Vive Pro with a wireless setup, but I don't want to buy another headset. And if HTC wants to send me one, sure, I mean, I, I'm sure, sure, I won't say no. But in the meantime, I have a Quest 2, I have a Wi-Fi router, and there are methods to make things work. So we start off Quest 2. Quest 2 has inside-out tracking, so it's on its own little tracking ecosystem inside self-contained headset looks at the controllers uh yeah second we need the vibe trackers which go on your feet uh strap to the strap 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 to the strap trap the strap traps <coughs> strap to the rebuff reality track strap pluses which add up to eight hours of gameplay so you have two different things tracked on two different ecosystems in completely different ways one uses lighthouse tracking over Steam VR going through a USB dongle on a PC. The other is a self-contained headset. So how do you put them together? So you take the Quest 2 and you need to connect it to Steam VR. So we use virtual desktop over a Wi-Fi 6 router directly connected through Ethernet to your PC for minimal latency. Virtual desktop is an application that streams Steam VR from your PC over Wi-Fi to the headset. And I'm choking on my drink. Which means that you can play Steam VR games and PC VR games wirelessly from your computer to your Quest without any additional accessories other than your Wi-Fi router. Obviously, if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, it's going to be better than Wi-Fi 5 and so on and so forth. Airlink is pretty much the same tech, same idea, uh, but virtual desktop is quite a bit more solid and has way more options. So virtual desktop is going into Steam VR, uh, which we also have the Vive trackers going into. So now we have them both going into Steam VR, but we have one problem. They're on separate tracking systems still. If you don't understand this concept, basically think about this being a room and this being a room. I need to film this separately. 
For the sake of uh, being completely obscure and having no idea what you're looking at, I'm going to use random objects to simulate what I'm trying to explain poorly. Let's say you are the man with the headset on. Perfect example. Now your guardian is going to go around the, around the room, however you set it up, let's say like this, and then you have your nice little VR play space. All familiar with it, the funny little line that you draw around, perfectly fine. Now, let's say you're the HTC Vive feet tr trackers and hip tra the trackers. You're in this play space right here with the three objects. You got your two feet trackers and you got your hip tracker, right? Makes sense. Perfectly fine. Even though they're both connected to Steam VR, since these are tracked by, let's say you got your two, ba two base stations floating in the sky back here, making the, the, the thing here. I'm not gonna hold these here, cause I don't want to. You get the idea. Steam VR has no clue that these two play spaces are anywhere close to each other, whether that's the rotation of them, the center of them, the scale of them, it has no idea. So when you originally connect this, these trackers could be literally anywhere. You could be standing here with your Quest 2, your controllers, and these on your feet in real life. Sure, sure, it's fine. But Steam VR will have no idea where those are relative to the, the other play space. It's two separate place play space so what we need is a software that will combine both of these play spaces so that this one is perfectly aligned with this one and you got your two your your trackers like that and they're in the correct places don't question why everything in the shot has changed and why it's like a week later and I still haven't finished this video. There's a software called OpenVR Space Calibrator, which basically allows you to take the tracker from the Steam VR setup and your Quest controller and you hold them next to each other and wave them in like a figure eight pattern. That way it can base the location of each tracked object uh, off of each other so that it knows where they are relative to each other inside of each different play space. I hope that makes sense. It basically solves all your issues and combines the two play spaces so that they work properly together and are more or less calibrated to be about as close as you can get. So to recap everything, we have the Quest 2 running virtual desktop over Wi-Fi going into OpenVR Space Calibrator, which is running on Steam VR. And then we have the Vive trackers, which are also running on Steam VR through OpenVR Space Calibrator to make sure everything is calibrated correctly. And now that we're on Steam VR, we're running the PC version of Beat Saber, which is running the mods Naluluna Avatars and Naluluna Modifier. The trackers are recognized by Naluluna Avatars, which allows you to do full body tracking, and then you set those to your feet for playing Feet Saber, which modifies the notes to the floor so you can step on them. And now that everything's put together, we can now play Feet Saber with no cable. Simple setup.